Welcome to Sports Now. I'm your host, Colby Marshall. After a crazy weekend of college football, teams, coaches, and fans are all excited for the new college football playoff rankings that were announced earlier this week. LSU, Ohio State, Clemson, and Georgia are the four teams that made the cut. And I'm here with college football analyst Jeremy, Jeremy Referri to break down some, some of it for you guys. So Jeremy, did the committee get these selections right? Since it's only the second week, of the committee having to do the selections, you know, they have three more selections left. I think for this week, they got it, I'd say 90% right. Mainly, I say that mainly because LSU deserved the number one spot because they've beaten four top 20 teams and to go into Tuscaloosa and beat Alabama, you have to be the number one team. But Ohio State at number two, they haven't shown that they can't be the number one team. You know, they put up 73 points on Maryland. Um, and they're still undefeated. They have one of the best uh, defensive ends in the league, or in the, in the country, rather. They have an outstanding quarterback in Justin Fields and a wonderful running back in J.K. Dobbins. Um, Clemson at number three, too. They, they struggled earlier in the season against uh, North Carolina. But other than that, they've been blowing teams out of the water. So those three right there, they deserve to be in. Georgia at four is the tricky one because they had a weird, ugly loss against South Carolina. The next week, they struggled against Kentucky at home, although it was, an, it was a rain game. Um, so Georgia at four is a little confused about. I think Bama should, should have gotten that four spot. Um, but after that, Bama five, Oregon six, I think they, for the most part, got it right. What about a team like Minnesota, who's on the outside of the top four? They're a team that upset Penn State this past weekend. Did they deserve at least consideration for the top four? I think they do, but they have to show just a little more because earlier in the season, they they only they beat uh, struggling teams by only one score. So they, they haven't blown teams out of the water, as I said, Clemson did. Um, but to end their season, they have Wisconsin and Iowa, which are both top 20 games. So it's going to be interesting if they can win out and make the Big Ten championship more than likely they're going to be playing Ohio State. If they beat Ohio State or if even they get there, play Ohio State well, they could be a top four team. I just need to see a little more out of them, but it was a great win against Penn State this past weekend. So are there any teams on the outside of the top four that you think can catapult up in the remaining weeks that we have in the season? Uh, Oregon is one team that everyone's talking about because their only loss came week one against Auburn at a neutral site, but it's down south in Texas. It's closer to Auburn, Alabama than it is uh, Oregon. Um, but Oregon is a team on the outside looking in that they've had some solid wins and they have a great quarterback in Justin Herbert. I wouldn't be surprised if Oregon won out, won the Pac-12 championship and made and snuck into the Final Four over Alabama. Jeremy, thank you for your time. When we come back, we're going to talk about the breakout star everyone's talking about in the NFL.